Hello everybody. Welcome back. Today we are headed to the road called Big Tahunga Canyon. That's right. And here we are turning on to Big Tahunga Canyon right now. And this road really is not the easiest one to find. It's not really marked. You just kind of have to look at it on a map or a Google Maps or a actual map or a phone or a, or a telemetry or a, trying to make, you know, I'm trying to make a joke there. I don't know if it's really working. <laughs> it leaves from the Sunland area, which is the Shadow Hills area, which is east. No. Make that west of Pasadena and east of the San Fernando Valley. So right in between the San Fernando Valley, San Fernando Valley, and Pasadena. But uh, it's a it's kind of a long road. What this road does, it goes up to Highway Two, which is Angeles Crest, and then from there. From there, you can uh, go from go to the other side towards Palmdale, and this is a a very nice road. Here's Muffin; she agrees. She's got her head sticking out the window. But as you can see, it's cloudy today, and it's cloudy. <laughs> it's cloudy. Yes. It's a very nice road, and it's just a cruising day today. I'm just kind of cruising, getting out here to kind of see what I can see, and uh, expect to see mountains and canyons, and looks like that's what we're seeing. There she is again. Got her head out the window. Those are uh, some big trees right there, and planters kind of nice. It looks like those are, it's a tree farm. Those trees are for sale. Not too bad. It's, it is cloudy still, but I'm actually, as I'm getting up here, it looks like the clouds are starting to break up a little bit. And here we are entering Los Angeles National Forest. Did I just say Los Angeles? It says Angeles. National Forest, not to be confused with Los Angeles. So yeah, it looks like the clouds are breaking up a little bit. It's getting a little sunny here, which is nice. And uh, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. It's starting to look pretty. Now, I like the clouds. I think it's okay. However, we're driving through the hills and such, it is definitely a different look. Not so much winter look, but It's overcast. Don't see the mountains it's quite as well, obviously. Here's a bridge. Forest Clear Creek Station. All right, Clear Creek Station. Now, we go to the right. We'll take us back to San Gabriel. Oh, there's a bathroom. Oh, we're going to go straight. Oh, there's law enforcement. We're not going to stop here. Do you know why? Because we'll get a ticket for not having a, an outdoor pass. Isn't that ridiculous? Got to pay to visit outside. But wow, it's beautiful. Beautiful. And the reason I say that, take it because there's law enforcement sitting right there. Yeah, yeah that's why no one's parked here. <laughs> See that sign says ski area to Wrightwood. That's what I was trying to think of earlier. Closed. The roads are closed there. But here's a 
Schweitzer picnic area, and this there's a bathroom here, and a lot of people parked here. Now these driveways are just not real good. Oh, someone just went into the bathroom there. I'm gonna go and park here and um, let the dog do some business as well. Okay, I'm walking the dog now. Camera kind of moves all over. She's gonna do her business. There's some cars making their way in the canyons. Looks like uh, one was a Ferrari making noise and the other one was a, I think they're both Ferraris. Hmm. Yeah, this is a parking area up here. And uh, it's a beautiful place just to walk around here. Now down below, down below is a picnic area. See this guy, he's driving down there. Okay, I'm gonna walk a little bit this way. See this area, these mountains right here, so beautiful. I gotta spin around, because muffin's on the wrong side of me for that, <laughs> for the leash. Okay, so I'm gonna walk over here. Just a, you know, for a, just a place to stop as a trailhead, it's just so beautiful. See what I mean about those clouds? Just kind of just a little bit of clouds there just makes it that much, that much more beautiful. And that's how, and that's how, <laughs> if I can talk. See those trees? There, now there's some pine trees. Now we're, pre, we're not quite to the top, but kind of. If you look up there, yes, there are a lot of tall trees here. But we had to drive to the top to get to it. Oh, people rushing over to the, the bathroom. Okay. There's some more area here. And uh, so nice. And then you can see the road over there, like there goes a car. Now the road closes. Oh, wait, well, up, up there, okay. So that car just went around the corner, but you can see a little bit higher up the hill there. You can see the road, and I just saw a car coming down. So I'm not sure how far you can go till that road closes, but it does close and it doesn't go that far because the signs say that the road closes at Mount Wilson. And so there she is, she likes to do her exploring as well. Don't smell that. I don't know why dogs like to smell other dogs' poo. They're number two, but they do. Yeah, it's pretty pretty nice here. It's just, just beautiful. Like I said, there's that picnic area down the way a little bit. And I was there previously with the family and saw a bear. Yeah, that's right. A small bear, but it was a bear. And it was uh, pretty cool. Nice area down there. But there's a lot of these kind, types of these picnic area campgrounds in these hills and these roads and these trails. All right, we're going to continue on. I think what I'm going to do, I said that loud, I think, I think what I'm going to do is head up that road still and see exactly where it closes. Okay. Continue on. Taking a break. This is a horrible uh, driveway to get in and out. It's just like a ditch to drive over. But thank God we managed it. So there are some more cars here. Oh, that's a good place to park, just in case some overflow parking. And uh, there's some more cars parked over here. Muffin's got herself. Oh, now she changed. She's probably going to walk over here again. And uh, just beautiful.
Okay, so we're getting up here. I see the intersection coming. And it does say Mount Wilson, yay! And then there's Charlton Flats and Big Pines ahead, which is gonna be close. So now, oh, you know what? This is, okay, that's Mount Wilson to the right. However, the road is supposed to be closed at Mount Wilson, and so far it's open. There's lots of trails. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> I guess that's where it's closed. Yep, I'd say it was closed all right. Ooh, nice area though. Okay, I've stopped here at the very, very top. Well, it's not the top, but it's just where we have to stop because I'm gonna move the camera because of that right there. Closed road, it really is closed. No pedestrians, no bicycles. I hear a drone. No, that's a real airplane. <laughs> Okay, no pedestrians, no bicycles, no motor-driven cycles. Oh, there's someone over there taking pictures. Kind of what we're doing. So, here's Muffin. She loves, you know, it does sound like a, a drone. I do see an airplane. Could be water. Eh, anyway, so here it is. You know, if they're going to close the road, this is a good spot for it because it's just beautiful. It kind of reminds me of looking over the valley at Yosemite. Of course, that's a little bit bigger and more spectacular, but there, now I can hear the airplane. It's up there. Maybe you can't see it, but it's there. So that's where we came from over there. Now, why would they close the road? I don't understand. It's no snow. Oh, someone's making noise. Now here, I'm going to zoom the camera in. That's where Mount Wilson is up there. Can see the antennas and such. And uh, I'll zoom back out. I do have another video on that. I don't think we're going to go up there today, but like I said, we have another video on that. I hear the airplane. Oh, there's another one. I know that might be difficult to see. Well, this was fun. Oh, before I sign off, there's a uh, there's a car over here with a number on it. I like cars with numbers on it. See, look at that. And it's a it's a Subaru with the number 86. So I don't know if there's someone in the car <laughs> while I'm doing this. But that's cool. Looks like he's maybe doing a rally of some sort or in some sort of club. Oh, there goes a Corvette. Oh, Corvettes are nice too. Yeah, there's a Corvette right there. Those are beautiful. Wow, Florida plates. That's a heck of a thing to do. Come over here from Florida to the closed gate. But what's Muffin doing? Okay. So anyway, this is uh, the Subaru. What is it? PRZ? I forgot. But Anyway, that's nice. There's a guy over there in a Dodge Challenger. Well, that Corvette sounds really good. I'm going to head back down the road. And thanks for joining me. This was just kind of a fun outing. And uh, I'm walking in the shade now, see how that looks. Changes the, how I look, I get back in the sun. Yeah, anyway, thanks for joining me and we'll, we'll see you next time. And keep on traveling, we'll, we'll, see you, we'll see you next time. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and please subscribe. And please take a look at the description below for a travel book and other resources that may help you on your next trip. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.